All right, today's 20 minute workout. We're gonna get a little warm up in, maybe three, four minutes, and we're gonna do a four exercise circuit. 30 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, four rounds, four exercises. We're gonna do uh, a bridge, we're gonna do reverse lunges, or a step up if you can't do a lunging pattern. We're gonna do rocker squats, which you're gonna see in the video, and we're gonna do a uh, back extension type move, face down type position. We're gonna do multiple exercises for that one. All right, let's get started with the warm up. All right, let's just start with opening up that chest a little bit, big arm swings, loosen up that shoulder. Okay, big arms up and down. Tighten up that posture. All right, let's go alternating on that. Really reach it high, extend back to the side. Good, now big circles. Going backwards. Forward. Good, I want you to kind of press and reach. I got a little bit of a pivot. Good, grab your hands, push your arms away, round that upper back, draw that stomach in, kind of reach. Press and reach. You can start pivoting, add a little rotation. And then let's turn that into a wood chop overhead. Hinge back, nice and easy. Loosen up that torso and lower back. Diagonal, so feet square, shoulder width, arms up over the shoulder, chop across the body, right outside that knee. Let's go the other direction. A little bit of pivot on that foot, release those hips. Let's take a wide stance, back and forth, loosening up those hips, opening them up a little bit, sink into it, hang out. Try to just sink a little lower each time. All right, go ahead and pivot, face one direction here. World's greatest stretch, drive that elbow down, back leg stiff, rotate up. Back down, lift your hip, uh, front foot up by lifting that hip up. Step forward, switch sides. Switch again. Moving quick, we only have 20 minutes, so get some good quality work in. Step that last leg back, be in that push-up position. We're gonna drive it up into a pump stretch. Downward dog position, you can pump those heels a few times. Really reach those hips up to the sky, pump that chest a few times. Come on down, just hold that push-up position for me. Then go back up. Should feel it through the calves all the way up into the lower back, glutes. That's the warm up. Here we go. Reverse lunges. I'm gonna go alternating. Best thing to remember on lunges is staying on those railroad tracks. You'll see where I step. I'm not right behind my other foot. I'm staying apart. Stomach's tight. You don't have to force yourself to be perfectly vertical. 
okay? But you also don't want to be bent over to lean, okay? Your back goes where your eyes go. Good, then your rest, 20 second rest. We're going down on the ground into our bridges. So on, on the floor, you have that booty band put around the knees. I'm gonna grab it for my second set. And you focus on keeping some tension on that band. Ready? First set, we'll go ahead and do a both feet bridge. We're just tilting that pelvis up, good squeeze of the glutes, okay? You can't do too many bridges, at least in my opinion. Go ahead and rest. All right, we're gonna be over on our front rocker squat position. So, push up position, okay? Then walk your feet forward a little so your chest is actually in front of your hands. We're gonna be feet about a squat distance apart. We're gonna rock back and blast off, okay? So rock back, squeeze everything tight, okay? Now, you're capable of lots of push-ups. You can rock forward into a push-up. You can rock forward, drop to the knees, push up. Or just do the rocker squat. Lots of ankle mobility. Press. All right, prone position. Which means face down. We're gonna start with Here, we're gonna lift up. When I say lift up, press your arms out, back in, down. Go. Good squeeze of the shoulder blades here as we lift. Our upper back off the ground. Don't be scared to activate those glutes. And rest. Back on our feet. Round two, lunges. Three, two, and let's lunge. Now, if you have weights at home and you want to add weights to these little workouts, go ahead. What I'd really like you to do is focus on perfect form. You shouldn't be falling over, doing your lunges. Balance is focused. Find a spot, focus. Get your mind into the workout. And rest. Back to bridges. We'll go with the band this time. Right above the knees. Nice pink for Valentine's Day. You can push up, out, back down. Add a little extra component there, or just keep a little bit of tension against that band. And rest. Rocker squat. Can't have that push up. I'm all over the place. Pull around with the width. Okay. 
and then rest. All right, this next one we call, at least I call, a uh, black burn. So face down, arms are gonna start here on the side. We bridge up in that lower back. Or, so upper back comes up off the ground. And we're gonna rotate those arms out together. Cross them into the lower back, down. Squeeze, come up. Two down. Round three. And here we go. Don't know what to do with your hands on your hips. <laughs> what was that movie? Uh, well, that's good. That's how I see it. We can add rotation. You want to rotate towards that front knee. All right. Back to bridge. We'll do a single leg bridge this time. On those, I like to bring a knee in. You can hold it. You can put your leg there, keep it in line with your other knee. The bridge should be coming from the goat, from the uh, glute. So I like the knee tuck position. Very short little movement. That's halfway, switch legs for me. We're getting extension of the hip, which is always a good thing, especially if we're sitting a lot, running a lot, those hip flexors get super tight, squats, lunges, all of it. All right, on our back again. So we're gonna bridge up and we'll alternate. And then down. All right, ready? Up. You'll see that face down position after those other moves. Makes it hard to breathe. So you definitely get a little bit of a hard to response. We're having fun, we're already in round four. About four minutes left to work. All right, ready? Nope. You can kind of go into a march if you want and stay on one side. Add a little balance component. Again, yeah, you should not be falling all over the place. Keep weight on your big toe of that front foot, your pinky toe, and your heel. I went a little bit past halfway, so switch sides if you haven't. Very good, all right. Back on the ground. Do we do rocket flat last time? I think I might have skipped a set of rocker squats. We'll add, we'll add to it. Back to bridges. We'll do what we call a marching bridge. One knee in, bridge up, back down, switch feet. I was so focused, forgot an exercise. But we'll make up for it. And rest. All right. Let's 
go ahead and do that rocker squat now. Then we'll do a back extension, come back and do another rocker set, set of rocker squats. I'm gonna go ahead and add push-ups to this one. And remember, rock back as far as you can. Blast off if you can. If not, you wanna blast off and squeeze everything tight. Create tension in the body. Butt's not going up, you're bending those knees. If you can't bend your knees that much due to a pre-existing injury, then definitely go, you know, you can do more of a bridge, a little bit of knee bend, okay? All right, back extensions. Here, we'll do a Superman this time, arms up. Alternate, one leg, one arm. Should be opposite. Lift that leg, squeeze that glute. Right, one more exercise. Rocker squats. How about we do a set of mountain climbers to finish it up? Or I'll show you two versions. So you can just walk, okay? Or we can kind of drive it fast. You don't need your knees way up here, 90 degrees. Keep that lower back from flexing so much. Remember, that's your alternative. And rest. We're done with that clock. Just sit back into that child pose. Reach those arms way out. Get a stretch on that lower back. Walk your hands to the left. That right arm really reaching out there. Walk them to the right. Reach it out there. Okay. We're gonna finish with another stretch or two. Put that left leg out, walk it out. Your knee outside of your hip. Rock back. Adductor rocker stretch. I'm gonna get Jen to add a nice uh, coupe to that spot right there. I know you guys are getting plenty of it. Let's switch legs. You should be feeling that in the straight leg. Sit over your midline if you're not, not over the knee. All right, one more stretch. If you're by a bench or a couch or the wall, you can put your foot up against the wall. We're gonna get in this position here. Now, it might not be this high. This will be a lot of stress on the quadricep if you're real tight there. You're gonna get your knee maybe against the wall, like I said, a low, a low step stool, something like that. And then sit up nice and tall, draw that stomach in. Tighten up that glute. Hang on, you should feel a good stretch here. If you're not getting too much, you can add a little lean to it. Good, you can hang out longer than that, but for the sake of time, let's switch sides. Get one on the other side. That's today's daily dose. Keep moving.